Okay, I have finally gotten everything down at the barn. Um, I needed to come to the office. I have, I needed to check on some things um, with my sheep, with my bottle babies, on dates on some of those bottle babies. I have two that are, they get, let's see, I think I'm making them 20 ounces right now, and I have two Everybody drinks theirs down to nothing, except for two that I have that are only drinking about 10 ounces, and they're my oldest two. So I'm wondering if they have almost hit their 30 day mark, and that's why they're eating more hay and they're, they're drinking less. So I need to double check on my lambing cheat sheet to find out when they were born as to if that is what is going on. But since I'm up here, I wanted to go through these two comments that just, oh, people just crack me up. So the one was, uh, so she's talking about, um, and I think she's talking about my bottle babies because she said something about, isn't their ground, their little barnyard area a little too wet? I see that so much on farms. I know you can't control the rain. Now, if she's talking about my stuff outside, yes, it's gonna get wet. I don't, they're sheep, they're animals, they have wool, that's, they are built to be outside in weather. Anyway, I have done videos, I have done podcasts, I have done, I'm not going to rehash it. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Lord knows I have my own. <laughs> I have plenty of opinions. I'm an expert on my opinion. Um, but yeah, she's talking about my bottle babies. Then she goes on about they need a nice enclosed barn where they can stay warm and dry. They're in a barn. I don't know where else I'm supposed to put them. And then can't you build something that's totally enclosed for them out of the sun, out of the elements? Like a box where they get no daylight and it's stuffy and they die because they have no good air quality? I don't know what she wants. I don't, it, it, like I said, maybe it's the exhaustion. I just, I'm not, I'm not understanding what her issue is because she's, She's kind of jumping. So if anybody wants to go look at that comment, it's from a couple days ago, um, maybe y'all can help me out because I don't, they're already in a barn. If she, if she is talking about the bottle babies, they're already in a barn. No, I'm not going to make them a box where they can't get any sunlight. And then she she finishes, I don't even, I'm, I might not even know what I'm talking about. I just feel bad for them. Okay, I... I don't know how to help you. Um, yeah, they are in a barn. They, they, they are in a dry area just because it looks wet. It's not. Um, I, I, I don't know. Somebody help me out. I'm not sure. I, 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 I don't know how to answer this one. So if somebody can help me out, um, please. <laughs> I'm I'm not trying to be rude because I, I I kind of understand what she's saying about keeping them out of the elements. Um, there's a lot of people that don't understand that sheep have wool for a reason to protect them from the elements. And so even at even even at days old, they can be out in the rain, they can be out in the snow, and it's it's not going to hurt them. Just because I look at them and I say they're cold and shivering, it's because they haven't regulated their body temperature to it yet. Or the temperature has moved to such an extreme where we went from a, I know it was two days ago and I can't even remember what the temperature was, but it was like, okay, it was probably a week ago when I actually filmed the video. Um, it was a... I want to say we went from like a 70 degree, 60, 65, 70 degree day down to like a 40, 45 degree day with wind. And so in that extreme temperature, just like your own body, you know, you can handle it, but you don't like it. 
so you do get cold you do shiver but they they can deal with it and yes I did turn a heat lamp on because I'm a sucker for my sheep I will do anything to keep them happy so anyway then the next comment which this one just y'all <laughs> this one just cracked me up and I'm gonna just read it for verbatim it says them lambs are way big enough to start feeding creep and be weaned seems like every female farming in a barn they tend to wait months and months to wean and always stick in a bottle down a lamb's throat um yes dear we do because we want to keep our lambs alive um that's the easiest way to answer that one yes uh and no they are not big enough to be weaned um this was on the video when my lamb my lambs figured out that they could get out through a hole in the fence that i didn't realize was there and they they're not even 30 days yet at this point they weren't 30 days yet so um no they're not big enough to be weaned even though there are people and, and i was one of them i used to wean at 30 days because i didn't have any other place to put my sheep even though i prefer to wean at about 12 weeks i prefer to wean at 12 weeks sometimes i have to do it at eight weeks but yeah it's it's no they they're not old enough to be weaned and creep feeding we do not creep feed i have gone back and forth on this numerous times my husband and i both have he is very against feeding any kind of grain um i get sucked into the oh everybody else is doing it i better do it too and then I look at my sheep out on pasture that are growing like weeds. And I tell myself, why would I spend the money on grain when I have natural feed for them? So anyway, and then his next comment is they would get bottles twice a day until they hit six weeks. After that, they would be weaned to creep and be on grain until three months before on to hay. I, and I get it. Meat, meat sheep operators do this. They absolutely do. I am not a meat sheep operator. I have dairy sheep. I don't want them to grow that fast that quickly. I want them to grow naturally. I want them to grow the way nature intends them to grow. That way they are durable. They last longer. They mature at the rate they're supposed to mature. I'm not trying to grow them out so that they can be butchered at, um, I don't know what, what age they butcher them, three, four, six months. I, I'm not a meat person, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried about shoving grain into my sheep so that I can take them to market and have them get sold for top dollar for, um, for the butcher. It's, it's not what my sheep are for. My sheep are milk sheep. I am trying to raise them naturally meat or sorry milk sheep <laughs> do not mature until they're two years old so even if you raise them up quickly enough so that you can breed them at a year old they're still not going to reach full maturity until they're two years old that's why i don't breed mine and i know a lot of people breed them at like eight months old um so they lamb out by the time they're a year and a half i don't breed mine until they are about a year and a half so that they lamb when they are hitting their two, two year old mark. Personal preference, nothing right or wrong either way. If you, if you prefer to do them early, fabulous. I'm, I have no problem with that. I, I know a lot of people that do that. Um, I used to do that and I've changed, I've changed how I do it because I change a lot of stuff like every time I do things. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I, and I, I get it because, but no, I, I will bottle feed. Um, yeah, I, I will bottle feed until they are six weeks old. So he's, he's completely correct on that. Um, but they, I am still feeding four times a day and until that's why I wanted to check on these older ones, <clears throat> they probably could go down to twice a day. So I want to check to see where they're at on that schedule. And then I may have to make another pen for them and, and move them so they get more hay, less milk. And that way um, they're on a different schedule than my younger bottle babies. And then kind of go from there. I'm 
I feel like I'm running on empty all the time. I, my brain, my brain seems to be running faster than my body right now. <laughs> and we have a huge weekend this weekend. Um, we will not be home at all tomorrow. We have the parade that my husband has to be in tomorrow morning. We have a graduation in the afternoon um, up in Boise. So we will be traveling most of the day. And then uh, Sunday we have, I can't remember. Oh, he has, he has a work thing that we have to do Sunday down at one of the parks. So we'll be back eventually. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll be filming this weekend. So, okay, that's that's plenty of me talking. I'll shut up now. But yes, if somebody can go read that first comment and maybe help me out, I'm I'm, I'm at a loss as to what she's wanting. Um, other than no, I will not build a box and put my sheep in there where they do not get any sunlight. That's an absolute no. And yeah, so anyway, I'm going to deal with my bookwork and we'll be back eventually. Okay, really quick before I run back out. Um, I did get my my numbers, my U's, my lambs in the bottle, ben pen, bottle baby pen. Um, Pint, my oldest one, she is a month old, so she only has two more weeks. She is one that has been coming off the bottle and only drinking about 10 ounces, so she is, she is already weaning herself. Um, I have one that is a week old, two that are two to two and a half weeks old, and then two that are three weeks old. And one of those, one of those three week old ones is the other one that has been trying to, that is only taking 10 ounces of her bottle. So I will, I will wait. I don't like putting them by themselves. So pint, pint will get, I'll just knock her down to twice a day. Um, which is what the two and the pen are at. They're at just twice a day. I guess I could make a pen for just the three of them and pull them out of the big pen. I'll have to think on that for a minute or 10 or maybe by Sunday, I'll have it figured out. So I'm actually not doing as bad as I thought I was. Good morning, guys. Uh, we've had a full morning already. Uh, kind of doing absolutely nothing. We had the parade this morning and had to be there at 7.30, I think, bright and early. Anyway, we've been up since 6 and, I'm, I'm, we, and we need to finish feeding and head to Boise. So we're wanting to feed big so that all we have to do when we come home tonight, oh, that didn't work. Didn't mix my milk. So that when we get home tonight, all we have to do is basically feed the bottle babies again. So fed them this morning, we'll feed them now, and then whatever time we get home tonight. So they'll be a little bit shorted, but none of them are gonna die. They'll just be very unhappy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 